Style reference is one of Midjourney's most powerful features and a lot has changed since I released my first deep dive video in 2024. We now have SREF codes, more ways to create and discover styles, and image creation on the web for all users, which only just happened last year. Today, I'm walking you through everything you need to know about style references from basic to advanced. This video is brought to you by my Patreon community where I share all of my monthly prompt guides, tips, and other exclusive videos. There are free and paid tiers and it's one of the best ways to support this channel. So thank you to all of my patrons and let's get started. So what is a style reference? A style reference is a source for visual aesthetics. Including a style reference in your prompt tells Midjourney to take aesthetic elements like color palette, medium, texture, and overall style and apply those to your results. Here you're seeing some examples of the same prompt with and without a style reference. This kind of style control can be really difficult to achieve with prompt text alone. By using a style reference, you're able to get a more consistent style across multiple results. Style references are especially useful for creating starting frames to use with Midjourney's video model to create a consistent look across multiple video clips. There are two types of style references that you can use in your prompts, images and codes. We'll talk about both of these starting with images. To use an image as a style reference, the easiest method is to drag your image up to the prompt bar where you'll see this style reference box. You can drag in an image from your computer or any Midjourney created image. Drop your image in the box, type your prompt, and submit the job. I used this illustration style image of a king as my style reference and submitted three simple prompts, a cat, a person, and a house. You can see how Midjourney applied that same illustration style, color palette, and even incorporated some of those repeated botanical elements. Using images as style references is one of many ways to use images in your Midjourney prompts. Style references specifically focus on applying visual aesthetics, I have a video on other ways to use images in prompts that I'll put below if you want to explore more. We can control how strongly a style reference affects the results by adjusting the style weight parameter dash dash SW. The default value is 100 and it accepts values from 0 to 1000. Here are results for the cat prompt with different style weight values. The style weight scale is not linear. You'll see the biggest changes between 0 and 100. So if you find your SREF is too overpowering or want a more subtle influence, try lowering the style weight to something between 15 and 50. You can also use multiple images as style references by adding more images to the style reference box. When you use multiple images, Midjourney blends their aesthetics together to create one cohesive style. Here I added a second style reference image with a different color palette and you can see how those two style references were blended together in the results. There are two other ways to add style reference images to your prompt. If you have an image URL, type your prompt, add dash dash sref, and paste the image URL. As soon as you paste the image URL, you'll see the image pop up in the style reference box. Or you can use an image you've already uploaded to Midjourney by accessing your uploaded images here. Be sure to select style reference and then click the image that you want to use. If you're prompting on Discord, you can actually assign relative weights to individual style reference images using two colons and a number after the image URL. So if I want the blue image to have twice as much weight as the king image, I would use this prompt. Unfortunately, we can't add weights to style reference images on the website yet, but we can with SREF codes, which is the second type of style reference that we can use. SREF codes are numbers that are linked to predetermined styles in Midjourney style space. There are more than 4 billion code numbers, making it a vast universe of aesthetics ready for you to explore. This code here is one that I named Tokyo Mist. You can try this code out in your own prompts to have this style applied to your images. But the obvious question here is, how do I know what style is linked to what number? An easy answer here is to type a number between 0 and 4.2 billion after the SREF parameter in your prompt and see what style you get in your results. You could also include dash dash SREF random in your prompt. Midjourney will replace the word random with a random number. I'll submit a few jobs here. Then you can look at your results to see what style each number produces. You can use that number in a new prompt to get different results in the same style. These SREF codes are universal to everyone, so anyone can try the same code number and get results in a similar style. But how do you find good SREF codes? 
You can spend time running prompts with SREF Random or look for online resources that some of us in the community have put together. I've shared more than 500 of my favorites in my SREF collection, which I'll link below. And I also have several videos here on YouTube with styles that you can try out. Or you can use Midjourney's Style Explorer. This is a great feature that Midjourney recently added. I have a full demo that I'll link below, so I won't go too in depth here. Let's quickly cover the basics though. On the Explore page, click on Styles. You can browse random, hot, and top styles popular in the community. Open one of these grids to see more example images in that style. You can see the SREF code number linked to that style down here. Click Try Style to run a job with whatever your last prompt was or add the SREF code number to the prompt bar by clicking here. Click the heart to add a style to your favorites, which can then be viewed by clicking Likes. You can also search for styles using the search bar up here. For example, you can type in minimalism, or maybe you want a red minimalistic style. Scroll through the results and see if there are any that you want to try out or save for later. The Style Explorer does not have example images for all 4 billion SREF codes, but it's a great resource to quickly explore a bunch of different styles. Just like with images, you can blend multiple SREF codes together by separating each code with a space after the SREF parameter. Here I'm using two SREF codes from my guide, and this is what those styles look like individually. When I use the two codes together in the same prompt, those styles are blended to create a new style. And you can add relative weights to each SREF code by putting two colons followed by a number after each code. Here I've told Midjourney that the first SREF code should have two times more influence than the other one. The style weight parameter also works here just like with images. When using multiple SREF codes or multiple images as style references, the style weight parameter will adjust the influence of the overall blend. So use that colon notation if you want one or more of your style references to be weighted differently within the blend. Now, before we go any further, there's something about SREF codes that might trip you up if you don't know about it. The same SREF code number can give you completely different styles depending on which model you use. Here, I've used the same SREF code with the V6 model and the V7 model. Same code, but the styles are totally different. This happens because Midjourney created a new style reference system after V7 came out. We can switch between the different style reference systems using the style version parameter SV. SV4 is the default for the V6 models. SV6 is the default for the V7 models. And it's likely that we'll have more iterations on this as newer models are released. Within each style reference system, those 4 billion SREF code numbers are mapped to different sets of styles. If you want to use old SREF codes that came out with the V6 models in a V7 prompt, you need to add dash dash SV4 to tell Midjourney to use that old system. Now when I add SV4, the V7 results are in a similar style as the V6 results. The SREF codes in the Style Explorer all work with the V7 model and are part of that SV6 system. This may change as new models are released. I'll keep my pinned comment updated with any relevant videos about future changes. For using images as style references, style version is less of an issue because you're providing the actual visual reference. If you're getting confused about all of the Midjourney parameters, I have a free guide that I keep updated with all of Midjourney's parameters that I'll link below. Now let's talk through some more ways that we can use style references. When you add a style reference to your prompt, you're introducing another layer of instruction that Midjourney has to balance against your prompt text. It's important to understand that style references are not just filters that get applied to your images. Each style reference comes with its own baked in characteristics and constraints. In general, I recommend prompting in a way that works with your SREF rather than against it, but there may be times when you want to push an SREF beyond its base style and into new territory. For example, this SREF is great at creating illustration style images with a warm yellow and green color palette. It also tends to add a lot of botanical elements. If I prompt for a man, I get illustrated results with that color palette and some plants because that's what this SREF does. But what if I want to use this SREF to create a photographic style image with a similar color palette? One approach is to lower the style weight so the results are less constrained by the SREF's illustration style. At style weight 50, I do get one photographic image in the grid, but the rest are still illustrated. 
The better approach is to be more direct and specific in your prompt text. By prompting for photo of a man at style weight 50, now I'm consistently getting photographic images. And because I'm being clear about what I want, I can try higher style weights to see just how far I can push it before the illustration style from the SREF begins overpowering the photographic style that I'm asking for in the prompt text. In addition to getting more specific with the prompt and adjusting the style weight, you can try adding dash dash raw to improve prompt adherence or lower the stylized value to reduce Midjourney's default aesthetic styling. Style references can also interact with other parameters to create new interesting variations. For example, adding the EXP parameter can introduce more detail and affect colors. Here I've added an EXP value of 50 with two different style weights. The color palette is shifted toward more muted and mustardy tones and desaturates even more when I lower the style weight. Using your personalization profile alongside an SREF creates another layer of customization. In these examples, I've added my V7 global personalization maxed out at stylize 1000, but with different style weights. When the style weight is lower, it gives my personalization more room to influence things like the shade of green and the background details. The important thing to understand is that all of these parameters work together with your prompt text to influence your final output. It's all about finding the right balance between style control and prompt adherence. There's no perfect formula, it really depends on what you're trying to achieve. If prompt adherence is really important to you and your current results aren't matching your vision, start by lowering the style weight, then consider whether you need to adjust stylize, add raw mode, or modify other parameters or prompt text. We've talked a lot about using style references with Midjourney's V6 and V7 models, but there's one more model where you can use them, Midjourney's anime trained model, Niji. The most recent version is Niji 6. You can use both images and codes as style references with Niji 6. SREF codes that work with Midjourney's V6 model also work with Niji 6. To use Niji, just add dash dash Niji 6 to your prompt along with your SREF code. Keep in mind that the newer SREF codes from the Style Explorer won't give you the same styles on the Niji 6 model because Niji uses the older SV4 style reference system. If there's a newer SREF code that you want to use with Niji, you can create an image with that SREF in V7, then use that image as a style reference in Niji instead of using an SREF code number. So we've covered a lot of ways to create your own custom styles. You can upload an image as a style reference, blend multiple images or SREF codes together, and push and pull at your style references by layering in other parameters like Styleway, EXP, Personalize, and Stylize. But what if you want more diversity in your results while maintaining a cohesive look? This is where mood boards come in. Upload images or add mid-journey created images to a new mood board that represents the aesthetics that you want. Unlike style references, which blend everything together into one unified style, mood boards preserve the variety across your images. So your results will reflect the diversity of the images in your mood board while maintaining a cohesive look. For a complete guide on mood boards, including more on how they differ from style references, be sure to watch my mood board deep dive video linked below. So let's be honest, remembering which SREF code number goes with what style or what image you used as a style reference isn't exactly easy. I recommend creating a custom shortcut or alias to store any SREF codes, images, and even prompt text that you use frequently. For example, instead of typing out this SREF code number, I can type dash dash Tokyo Mist and Midjourney will replace this alias with the SREF code. To set one up, you'll need to use Discord, which is a downside, but unfortunately it's the only way that we can create aliases at the moment. If you need help getting access to Midjourney's Discord server, I'll link some information below. On Discord, type slash prefer option set, give your shortcut a name, press tab, and then paste in whatever you want to save. Once the alias is created, you can use it in a prompt by typing two dashes followed by the alias name. And even though you create these shortcuts on Discord, you can use them in your prompts on the website. To see all of your saved shortcuts, type slash prefer option list. I do have a video that goes into more detail on creating shortcuts that I'll put below. If in the future we can create shortcuts directly on the website, I'll be sure to cover it in one of my monthly update videos. 
Once you start using style references regularly, you're going to want an easy way to find all of the images that you've created with a specific style. You can do that on your Organize page. Just go to the search bar and type dash dash sref. If you know the code number or image URL, go ahead and paste that in. Unfortunately, the aliases that we just discussed don't work here. You can also scroll through the dropdown to see all of the style references that you've used. Hovering over one will automatically filter your images. So this is a great way to review how a particular style has worked across different prompts. You can also search for images that use a specific combination or blend of SREF codes or images and combine this with other filters to narrow down your results even further. The search bar on the Create page also lets you search by SREF, which can be helpful if you want to find a recent job to iterate on. Everything I've shown you today represents the current state of style reference, but Midjourney is actively developing even more style tools. The Style Explorer that we talked about earlier is the most recent addition, helping us quickly explore SREF codes. Next, they're working on a style creator for finding and creating custom styles. They've said that this won't require you to add images, so I'm really curious to see how this works. They're also working on their V8 model, which will likely come with more updates and ways that we can use style references. I'll be sure to cover any new style tools and changes as they're released in future videos. To quickly recap, a style reference is a source for visual aesthetics. There are two types of style references, images and SREF codes. The influence of any style reference can be adjusted with this style weight parameter. If you're blending multiple SREF codes or images, you can assign individual weights by using two colons and a number, though for images, this only works on Discord. Style references come with their own baked-in characteristics and constraints, which can affect how well they work with your prompt text. When pushing an SREF beyond its natural style space, you may need to be more direct and specific in your prompts. And you can create custom styles by blending multiple SREFs, layering in other parameters like personalization, stylize, and EXP, and soon we'll have a style creator for even more customization. I hope you enjoyed this comprehensive look at style reference. This is a deep subject. We've covered a lot, but there's always more to talk about. So if you have any questions, please drop a comment below. And if you did find this video helpful, please consider liking, subscribing, and maybe even joining my Patreon community where you'll find all of my monthly prompt collections, exclusive videos, and other mid-journey guides. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.